back to my channel and call the Lomo Carol in a film about relationships, growth, lifestyle. And today's video is actually a collab video with one of our fine Cameroonian YouTubers. I'm sorry if you cannot get me. I'm really struggling. I have cold, but I must film. Yeah, she's our fine Cameroon YouTuber, a pretty girl, a smart girl. I really just like her personality. She has a very outshining personality she goes by a name lorraine shoe you should go and check her out if you don't know her if you have not been following her wait till you gain so make sure you go you should head away to her channel and check her out immediately you're done watching this video i'm going to leave the link to her channel in the description box so you can just go there and click and take you straight away to her channel okay so yeah so we we'll decided to do a collab video with her we yes we tried to do a collab video talking about how we can actually help um the vulnerable groups i'm going to be talking about two um particular vulnerable vulnerable groups and she is going on her channel is going to be talking about the other two so you wouldn't want to miss that you don't want to have incomplete gist okay okay so immediately you're done hearing these two go and listen to her own two and what she has to say okay so yes i'm going to be talking how our generation can help the widows and prisoners that's the vulnerable group i'm going to be talking on and if you have been following me on my channel you know i'm pretty i don't know <laughs> widows are just so close to my heart because i've done a video down it should be down on the channel um how to unlock the powers of widows and orphans and here again i'm talking about widows i just have to add prisoners to it it should not be like a repetition <laughs> yes so i'm very much peculiar about helping widows orphans less privileged prisoners so yeah that's what we're talking about today we first of all know that these people first of all going through a lot of issues on their own widows first of all have their own stress like they have lost their husbands i mean the world is is looking like it's against them imagine you having a support system and all of a sudden the support system is no more how do you begin how do you begin picking up yourself to continue with life it's a really really sad situation it's a terrible situation that none of us want to find ourselves in and prisoners there are lots of people in prison that they didn't even commit the crimes they are there for some people are there because of lack of good um, justice system some people need a particular uh, um, technique or let me say forensic I, if you understand me they need a particular forensic for them to be vindicated to be, to be proven that they are not but since Cameroon cannot provide that kind of um, technology they are stuck there there is no way nobody is believing their stories so most of the people not most we, there are people who are in prison who actually committed the crime but there are some there who actually do not even have the means to even go about the whole procedure there are some there who they not actually even do the, the crime they are just being held there for no good reason so we cannot be harsh or be wicked to all these classes of people you don't know the, somebody's story nobody knows another person's story you don't know what the person has been through in life so you can never tell if you have the opportunity to go to the prison to visit prisoners brethren please do so do so asap and visit them because if you have the opportunity to actually buy stuff for them like you in a group you and your friends can decide to um contribute money and buy them stuff and go and visit them that's fine that's okay it's not like you're doing something really really bad they actually need your support they actually need for them to know that people care about them like they are not forgotten in there like the world is still thinking of them because they are going through a lot of mental stress already as they are in there especially those who did not commit the crime they're already going through a lot of mental breakdown in there so they actually need people who actually show them that they actually okay but some people are thinking about you some people care about your welfare because going in there and seeing how they are treated is not really pleasing to even see it's like they're treated it's in a dehumanizing situation because you see the way they are even choked up in one confined space you ask yourself like how do these people survive how do they breathe like how do you rest i mean it's so not it's not nice so if you can actually help them if you can contribute with your friends 
um, you and your friends, you could can sit and contribute and go and visit prisoners. That would be so nice. Show them love, give them gifts if you can afford. It would be so, so nice for them to know that actually somebody cares for them that much. And widows equally, if you have if you have a widow in your um, neighborhood or your community, any, any widow close to you, the charity begins at home. So start with those close to you. If you know any widow around you, help that widow out. I mean, we all know men are the providers in the home. So imagine she losing her provider. Like, we know they encourage women nowadays to have their own source of income and all that stuff. But imagine losing your provider and your support system and your partner who you usually talk to, who you laugh with. You go through a trance before you come to accept that okay, this is what this is what life has shown at me. I have to live like this first. So they need all that love and, and care that you can give them. So if you have any widow by you, you could think of of going to show her love. If you have the means and you can afford it, buy her some gifts, you know, and go spend some time with her, help her out. She's really going through a lot. Don't add to her stress. Don't be calling widows witches. Please, let's stop that. Calling widows, a, 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 she's a witch, she's a witch, she's a witch, she's a her husband and all that stuff. And that was happening in those days. Now with all the civilization, you cannot sit and call the widow a witch or you make her go through some, some kind of inhuman practices in the name of tradition that you are cleansing her from whatsoever her husband dying no let's help these people if you say widow wouldn't they want to go through that i think there are lawyers who are even out to help widows from going through all those things all those dehumanizing things in the name of tradition let's help let's let's join our hands wow let's just say our hands is <laughs> Let's drag our hands and make the world a better place. Okay. Yes, that's all I had to say. I hope that um those somebody watching me out there you will feel what I'm feeling and will actually go out of your way to help any of these classes of people. You equally want to go and hear what Lauren Shu has to say about her own classes of of of, of less privileged how we can actually help them vulnerable groups so make sure you head to her channel immediately after you're done watching this and watch her own side of the story so you know you can have the complete gist okay okay yes so let's try to be good versions of ourselves in the world god being a helper you know god is even talking about widows he even talks about those who curse widows, he's there to fight for them. He's he's their father, he's their everything. And we know if God is your father, if he's the one fighting your battles, you know that you're definitely are sure of winning that battle. So you wouldn't want to get on God's bad side by going against a widow. You will not even want to try that. This is what they say. Don't try this, stay at home. <laughs> Don't try this at home. So yeah, that's what I had to say. Thank you so much if you stay to the end of this video. I'm truly, truly grateful. I mean you're the real MVP. So, excuse me for wearing my cap on my way to the market. So, I just had to film this video before going into the market. Yeah, thank you so much for watching to the end. If you haven't subscribed at this point, please make sure you do me well to subscribe. Hit the like button. Turn on your post notification bell. It's by the subscribe button. It's super important. So, you will get notified each time I post a new video okay please go to lauren's channel and make show her some love and support her all that good stuff okay bye guys see you next week sunday 6 p.m bye